Hey, I'm here with Lynn Klein. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So you were here last night for our uh, UFO sky watch and we saw some interesting sacred geometry and things going on up there but no like 3D mm. little green men. No. <laughs> no green men popping out of the sky. Yeah. But um, it was it was a lot of fun. I, I I had a great time entertaining you guys. So, um let's talk about the ranch and uh, you've been here now two or three times. Yeah, I was counting. So this is actually my fifth time last night. Wow. Yeah, yeah. in a very short amount of time, which right. has been pretty wonderful actually. Yeah. Um what well, keeps bringing you back so so frequently now? Well, I think the the piece that really pulled me back after being here for the first UFO Skywatch was the fact that I didn't get to the medicine wheel, and I wanted to, and then I got pulled back on my own to come and visit it, mm. and walked up on my own. And that was, the energy was so palpable that yeah. it just drew me back again. <laughs> yeah, there's no question that's that's uh, been an active sacred site for thousands of years. Yeah. Yeah. When and you get up there and you feel it. And you feel it. And it feels good. It feels like home. It's calming. It's assuring. Yeah, and I've seen some wonders up there with the sunsets and a rainbow during a meditation. and Just in incredible stuff. But uh, let's say you were a kid, though, coming to this ranch for the first time because we're doing this uh, Kickstarter for raising money to... Uh, put in certain code improvements and stuff that allow us to have more inner city kids come. Mm. What do you think a kid would think of the medicine wheel? Well, I think the the ranch would just be a huge playground for inner city kids, any kid, honestly. Um, kids like adventure and roaming on their own and exploring. And so do adults. We just don't allow ourselves as much. So <laughs> <laughs> I could really see kids on the ranch um, just you know being with nature so easily and then something like the wheel would I would imagine would be new to most um, and they would be playful in it and they yeah would. be interesting to have your friend come and teach a wheel class to kids wouldn't that yeah 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 she learned uh, she taught me a lot in fact one of the things I said I meant to do that I didn't do last night was to have people go around that wheel and pick that those two spots I wouldn't have known what it meant but we could have said I could have drawn a diagram and sent it to yeah. her and I she would be forgot. our wheel consultant I, ex <laughs> <laughs> I even forgot from the time that we walked I have to go back I think I wrote um, notes afterward that when I picked my favorite spot which was so interesting for me the first time I walked on my own how I chose the west gate and then when we did that practice with her following my experience and she said go pick your favorite spot I gravitated to that space again and so I really enjoyed knowing that information even after the fact um, yeah it was a, yeah just that you have a, the, the connection is so that is so evident right and you just get to stand in it and be with that yeah well, thank you so much, and I hope we'll see you again soon here at the ranch. Oh, thank you. I loved it. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thanks, Lynn. You're welcome.